the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Cincinnati Bengals 26 to 25. Harrison Bucker hit a game winning field goal. The final drive of the game, the Bengals were in firm position to win. They were up 25 to 23. But rookie safety Anthony had a defensive pass interference on Rasheed Rice, and that set up the Chiefs' field goal. Joe Burrow is now 4 and 2 against the Kansas City Chiefs. And even though the Bengals lost this game, I feel much better about the Bengals even after losing to the Kansas City Chiefs, and here's why. The Baltimore Ravens last week when they faced the Chiefs, it kind of felt like the Chiefs were in control of most of that game. It took Lamar Jackson late game heroics to get the Ravens back into the game and then he had three missed opportunities in the red zone to then tie the game and maybe take the lead if they went for a two-point conversion. In this game, I mean, after the terrible performance against the New England Patriots where Ramondre Stevenson runs for over 100 yards, breaks a ton of tackles, Lou Anarumo says you miss 14 tackles, Jermaine Pratt and Logan Wilson, they were tackling machines in this game. Kansas City's offense wasn't able to do much of anything. You look at the Chiefs' third down conversion, one for eight on third down. Patrick Mahomes, 151 yards, two touchdowns to two interceptions. The Bengals' defense showed up. Their secondary showed up. Cam Taylor-Britt had a play where he was beat for a touchdown against Rasheed Rice, but he also had one of the best interceptions that we're going to see all season, catching it, OBJ style for an interception on Patrick Mahomes and Trey Hendrickson I thought single-handedly took over this game on the defensive line Kingsley couldn't block him the Chiefs rookie left tackle he had to get benched in the game then you had Morris come in and a holding penalty on him put the Chiefs behind the sticks and that was essentially what could have won the Bengals the game Trey Hendrickson had three quarterback hits. He caused a ton of havoc. The Chiefs could not block him at all, and I think left tackle will be a problem for Kansas City all year long. And then on the offensive side of the football, Joe Burrow, 258 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, 103.7 passer rating after a pedestrian game against the Patriots to his standards. And I love that the Bengals are getting their tight ends involved with Gesicki and rookie Ali. I feel like those players are going to play huge parts of this offense later down the line in the season. Jamar Chase only had four receptions for 35 yards and a penalty on him where he kind of got besides himself because McDuffie took him down by the face mask. I got to re that play. But it, Jamar Chase almost put the Bengals out of field goal position, but Evan McPherson was just absolutely ice cold in this game. Now, it sucks to lose this because the Bengals played a, a near-perfect game and still came up short on the road, but you got to think about how thin the margin was for the Chiefs to win this game. I say for both teams because the Bengals played a great game. The only area where I feel like they didn't play so well was rushing the football. Zach Moss was inefficient. Chase Brown was efficient, but they didn't get much production from their rushing attack at all. Joe Burrow got them out of a lot of dire situations. And the last drive of the game, Spags just dialed up a great blitz and it got home to Burrow and nobody was open. But the Bengals in this game proved that they can put up points against one of the best defenses in the NFL. And one of the biggest concerns that we all had with the Bengals coming into this season was how are they going to look against an elite offense? And the Kansas City Chiefs last week looked amazing versus the Baltimore Ravens. This week, they had a worse offensive performance against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals tackled well. Trey Hendrickson took over in the trenches and as secondary played out of their minds this game proved to me that Cincinnati is the biggest threat to beat Kansas City does that mean they'll beat Kansas City no it does not but it does mean that they are the biggest threat they are the only team in the AFC that can say they've beat them multiple times and every time they play it's a one score affair with the Baltimore Ravens Lamar Jackson comes up short when the moments matter the most especially in the playoffs They cannot beat Casey. Casey has their number. The Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen plays amazing, but their defense always lets him 
down against Kansas City. Kansas City has their number. Cincinnati, they get complimentary football. Joe Burrow plays well. I thought the offensive line in this game blocked well. The receivers play well. The defense plays well. Lou and Arumo calls an exceptional game every time he goes up against Patrick Mahomes. The Cincinnati Bengals schedule was not difficult. They are 0-2, and teams that start off 0-2 have a 10% chance of making the playoffs. Them and the Baltimore Ravens have now started off 0-2. But the difference with the Bengals is that the Bengals have one of the easiest remaining schedules in the NFL. The Ravens schedule is going to be very difficult this year. That is the major difference. T. Higgins at some point is going to get healthy. We know that the Bengals throughout the course of the season only get better. So yes, while this was a loss, I don't know how you can watch this game either as a fan, a Bengals fan, a fan of any other team, and think to yourself that you don't have confidence in the Cincinnati Bengals. Because the Cincinnati Bengals, after losing to the Patriots, a team that's not going to have that many wins this year, and I think after this week, the, the game they gave to the Seahawks, we're looking at the Patriots and we're saying they're not as bad as everybody thought they were. But the fact that the Bengals lost to the Patriots and the very next week almost beat KC on the road had it not been for a defensive pass interference penalty that gives me a lot of optimism. That gives me a lot of hope that the Bengals will be fine. And they were so close to beating the Kansas City Chiefs. But yes, this team to me is still dangerous. They are a contender in the AFC. And I'm not going to move off this stance because in two weeks, they'll be tied at 2-2. Two and two, And then for week five, they have Baltimore at home. And that is a great game potentially for both teams to see who's going to have a little bit of the lead in the division crown.